Hello recruits, Cosmic Crow MC here, and today, ooh, I'm excited. I'm really excited. So, this game that I have loaded up right now is called Marble It Up, and this is actually a game that I played on my channel about three or four years ago, and I enjoyed it, had a lot of fun with it, but it stopped receiving updates, and I was a bit sad. Well, when I say it, it stopped receiving updates, I I'm lying just a little bit, because actually, it's been getting these betas for first it was a new game called or like a, a new rework of the game called marble it up mayhem and now it's a rework called marble it up ultra and they've gone in and they've changed and added so much that it might as well just be a new game at this point but uh i ignored the betas for a long time i have over 500 hours in this game and I was just spending all that time playing user-made levels and improving my time in the main campaign levels and doing the challenges each week and whatnot. But now I'm like, I, I finally decided to bite the bullet and try out the beta. And I played through the first couple of chapters last night and I was just blown away by just how polished and awesome everything is in this new iteration. So I thought it'd be fun to record my reaction to all this stuff and do like a little mini series, maybe even a full length series over the new content, depending on how much we find. But, uh, excuse my congestion by the way, but no, I'm just so excited to play through all this stuff. What I'm going to do is play through the first couple of chapters again, uh, and give my second impression on all that stuff. Uh, but then we're going to get to the new stuff and I'm really excited, but like, let's just, let's just hit the single player button and see like, you got this new menu for like the chapter select. Apparently you have these bonus things, uh, which looks really sick. Uh, I see a few like familiar names of levels here, but I also see some new ones and like, I don't even know. Wow. I, I'm just looking at, like, I see a lot of like old level names here. But some new ones as well. And then you have all of these other, uh... Oh my goodness! Woo -hoo -hoo. Man! Yeah, you have, you have so much stuff here. So, I'm gonna start with, uh, with chapter one. Now, something to note is that this is in beta. It said so on the main menu. So, some features aren't quite available yet. And we're probably gonna see some weird stuff. That looks really cool, that level in the background. I can't wait till we play that. But, uh, we're just gonna jump right in and go through these levels. So, when I first started playing this last night, I saw a learning to roll, and I was like, this, this is different. What's, what's going on here? No. And then I fall off on the very first level. Again, 500 hours. <laughs> but, uh, like, instantly I could tell, it's like, they've changed some stuff here. They've changed some stuff. It looks so much more polished. All these animations are really cool, but not like annoyingly long or anything. They just took everything and made it way better. Like the menus are more readable. I, I, I love it so much. Learning to turn. When I first saw this level last night, I was like, what? Because the original level is, it was kind of lame. It was just like a little S. And this is so much better. So much better. Oh, I mean, just look at that. It's fantastic. Amazing. Amazing. Now, it says we found some treasure. I think the beta alert thing said that uh, the, the the treasure and whatnot doesn't count yet, but that's fine because, you know, it's, it's a beta. But, uh, come on. I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to get a better time because I figured out how to do that on this level last night. And I was like, ooh, that's so cool. Like, yeah, look at, look at, you have that gear in the background and stuff. Like, they, uh, they're fleshing out the levels a lot more, and I really appreciate that. Because they're not just wasting these level slots to teach the players how to do various things. They're actually making some cool and neat levels that are fun to play in their own right beyond the learning curve. So it's like, I really respect what they're doing here. Oh, come on. No! Ah! I'm going to get it, I, I promise. That looks good, that looks good. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Diamond time, baby. <laughs> All right. Let's see now. This this level completely new already. Uh, <laughs> so I love how not only are they reworking previous levels, but they're just doing new ones. But 
I'm not going to go for the best time on all these levels, because that's what I was <laughs> busy doing last night. But, man. And, like, learning a jump. This is one thing I really like. So, originally, you had this level, and then you had, like, another one that taught you how to use a super jump power-up. But this time, those two concepts are combined into the same level, which I think is just awesome. Instead of having a ton of short levels that teach you very basic concepts, like, on a surface level, uh, they combine, like, these kind of learning experiences into longer levels that are more fun to play for returning players. Like, that, that's really good game design, in my opinion. Because why waste, you know, all these level slots that you got? with really short, tedious, uh, like, learning experiences, where you can just combine them into, like, playable levels that do more than teach you something. That's the way I see it, anyway. Oh, oh, oh! Ooh! That was a cool little bounce at the end. Ooh, yeah. And, and like, this level, for example, this was actually one of my favorite, like, tutorial levels from the, the original game. But, like, it's so much better here. Like, already, it, it had that little thing at the back that curves and just helps lead the marble along so it's a lot more satisfying. I mean, that's, that, that word, satisfying, describes a lot of these levels now. They're just, they, they, they have the essence of the original in there, yes, but they're just so much better and complete and satisfying. This one especially, the, the original level that like first introduced gems, didn't like it too much. Uh, you know, it just had some ramps sitting around, but this one's way better, in my mind. Got these moving platforms and stuff. It's more dynamic and animated and interesting, right? Even as a beginner level. So, I, I love it. Now, as we look around, like, you know, they have so many new, like, visual flares. That was one of my favorite things about the original game. Like, you could look in the background and see all these things. And uh, they still got those. Like, here with, like, the snow. I think that looks really nice. I love that. <clears throat> Sorry about that voice, Greg. Love that, right? But, no, it, it's fantastic. So, I'm just going to blast through these levels. This one's completely new. Uh, and so much better than Up the Wall, which was the previous level that, like, taught you how to use the gravity mechanics. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, the platforms are moving, too. I didn't notice that. Okay, that's, that's what I was talking about when I said it's a bit more, like, animated and dynamic now. Oh, that's sick. There we go, next level. Okay, this one I was playing last night. This is really cool. A much better tutorial for, like, this, uh... This power-up right here. The Feather Ball. I don't know why I forgot its name for a split second. <laughs> Oh, come on, we can get a better time. We got this, we got this. There we go, okay. There we go, nice. Nice, 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 next level. Boom, okay. That's it for chapter one already. Uh, let's move on to chapter two, which already has more levels. I also love how they uh, not only have new music, but they updated a lot of the older uh, tracks in the game. They don't have to do that, but they did, and it's awesome. Sounds so much better. So much more gooder. Okay, when I first saw this level last night, my mind was blown. Like, it's, it's a little thing. They added these little bounce pads. But, um, I am a marble game connoisseur, because I love to marb. And restart and uh, they uh, they had this game called Marble Blast Gold and then some people made a mod for that game called Marble Blast Platinum and in that Marble Blast Platinum game they uh, they had these little bounce pads and I thought those were really neat as like, an element of certain levels they were fun to mess around with and to like bounce off of and uh, so seeing those in this game I was like whoa that's awesome right it's just like the little things like that it's so cool so not only did they rework levels, they added new elements and stuff. And I'm like, that's sick. And like, we're just scratching the surface. There are, there are so many more chapters and stuff that I haven't even touched yet. 
And so that's why I'm doing this series, because it's exciting, and it's awesome, and I want more people to get excited about this stuff. Like, because it, it's... This game is just fun. It's fun on a bun. Right? Like... It fills me with childlike wonder in a way that few games do. Right? Like, playing this... It fills me with the same amount of joy as, like, Mario does, right? It's just... I mean, part of that is my nostalgia speaking, because I played uh, that Marble Blast Gold game I was talking about when I was, like, six. But, uh, no, this is... It's just fun. It's just fun. It's really good platforming. Um, the whole mechanic of, like, your momentum, like, carrying over and being consistent and stuff as you roll around is really cool. Uh, and it's just a satisfying game. It's... Man, I'm, I'm just like, I, I'm so sad I didn't play these betas earlier, because this is so cool. So much better than the original, and the original was already great in my mind, so... I'm loving this. Let, let, let's, uh, let's continue. This level is so much cooler than Bump in the Night, which was the previous level that introduced these bumper things. Like, look at this, this is just so fun. Got these moving platforms and stuff, all these ramps. I mean, it's like, it's like a playground. Okay, I wonder where you start. But, I, man, I just really appreciate what they've done here. Now I'm going to focus. I need to channel my inner marble. Okay, there we go, there we go. Ooh, I was worried I was going to go off the edge, but I didn't. I'm just too good. Let's slow down just a little bit. Nice. There we go. Ah, oh, satisfying finish. I mean, these levels are just so much better designed, though. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Karam? Karam? Who knows? But it looks cool. Ooh, this level I was playing last night. Really love this one. I mean, all these I was playing last night, but I just want to keep emphasizing that I have played these before. But after this chapter, uh, it'll be completely new. Let's get this speed, not speed boosts, uh, time saves, time capsules, time where I don't, timey wimeys, that's what I called them previously. I mean, look at that, that's, oh, that's so fun. That's so fun. All right, boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, so satisfying. So, so satisfying, and I got the diamond time. I didn't do that last night. Oh, awesome. All right, next level. Over the garden wall, this is one of my favorites from the original. It's just like a neat level with all these little hills and stuff. That's honestly one of my favorite things. It's when the level is like, almost like an open world, right? Like, it's not just like a linear path to the end. Uh, well, and like in this case, it is a linear path to the end, right? But it's not as linear as it could be. Uh, it, it feels like a journey. Like, Olympus, that was my favorite level from the original game. Which was like a giant, just sprint down a mountain, basically. And that was so cool. My mind was blown when I played that. I, I still remember my reaction to Olympus vividly. We- Ooh! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh! Oh, yes! Yeah! Great time. Anyway, let's move on. Into the Arctic. Nice, nice. Another ice-focused level. Let's, uh... Ah, I'm more restart. I'll be a good sport. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm gonna hit that. Ah, I was trying to get the timey wimey. That's fine. Let me get that. Boom. Ah, oh, nice. This is cool because it's like, say, Frosty 2.0. Like, they, they have another ice level, right? Like, before, I don't remember... Actually, there was one called Crystalline Matrix, which is like a maze map of ice. So they did have some levels that, like, focused on, like, one mechanic, but just, like, more of that. But I, I like it when games do that. Like, they, they don't have a level that teaches a mechanic, and then no future level that focuses on that mechanic. I like it when games take time to, uh, up the ante on, like, a single mechanic, or have a, a level that focuses on a mechanic like that. Really cool. I was mentioning Mario earlier, and I think the Mario games are great at that. They're great at having levels that, like, take a previously learned mechanic, and, like, uh, up the difficulty or the scale of that mechanic in the game. Let's get that. Nice. Another thing I really like is these little gates that let you collect something, as opposed to having to actually hit the thing. I think, uh, 
the level creators in this game will really appreciate that. Um, because, you know, it's nice to have, like, if you're going at full speed down a huge hill or something in this game, it's really hard to try and aim and collect something. So having those gates makes it, like, a lot more satisfying, a lot more fun in the long run. And it just lets creators do more. And so I think that's awesome. Anything that lets creators do more in this game, I think, is better. Um, because with a lot of these features, it's kind of like a take it or leave it sort of deal. Like, you don't need to include them in the level if you don't want to. But having them on hand is really cool. Now this is a classic Big Easy. As I roll around though, I'm looking at like the rocks and stuff and I'm noticing like light being cast on them in a certain way. And so that tells me like they uh, they changed how like the lighting works or something or like they added a feature where you can like place little like colored lights around maps. I think that's so cool. Like look, at the end you have this like this red kind of chasm or not chasm, like this red little mountain with this eerie glow to it, like, inviting you to finish the level. I think that's so cool, uh, just visually speaking. And so, I mean, as I was saying earlier, I think the visuals in this are just, they're, they're so much more polished. More gooder! It's more gooder, that's what it is. All right, transit. The moving platform level. And like, you know, this, this is quite similar to the previous iteration of transit, but it's also not. Like, it's also got a lot more meat to it. So it's the same concepts and the same sort of style of level, but uh, they just they change it to make it more fun and inviting, and I love it. I love it. Man, so cool. Gravity Knot. I love this new music too. That's one thing that I think was honestly a bit underrated about the uh, the original game and maybe it wasn't underrated so much as uh, I didn't see very many people talking about it uh, but the music dude I love the music in this game it just sets a very fun like vibe oh look at these like lights and stuff on the edges of the of the wall oh so cool I love it I love seeing that stuff all these like small visual flares really do add up and that's just what makes this feel so much more complete and polished as a package in the previous game um, Levels didn't really have much visual flair beyond like little effects in the background and then maybe a couple elements like on the level itself But now it just feels like you know They're really taking advantage of the visual style of the game and they're throwing lots of cool stuff in there Just to make levels feel more complete and fun. So I love that All right stepping stones when I first saw this level last night I was like there's a level this long this early in the game and I was just really excited and so uh this is the last level in chapter two, I believe. But uh, it's a great way to end off the chapter. Like, it, it's a cool level. Like, look, you got all these ramps going around everywhere. You still have, like, the rocks from the, uh, the original game. But you have that cool rainbow halo going on in the background. You have that giant, just, like, prism hanging in the sky. Because why not? <laughs> you got these curvy pads that feel a lot more fun to like roll around on that's the thing it's like i feel like you know the previous game had, had some good platform and challenges and stuff but this version this iteration takes all that and makes it feel more fun and complete like the curved paths feels like something like a real marble would like enjoy rolling down right uh here here on my desk i have like a little marble machine where you can like drop marbles in and watch them roll around and all these curved paths remind me of that, and it makes it feel like it, it, the, the, those kind of shapes of platforms just makes this game feel like it has its own identity that sets it apart from other platformers. And I really love how they're leaning into that. In the previous game, a lot of the platforms were pretty, pretty diagonal, uh, and if they did curve, they wouldn't curve like down and up and stuff. Uh, and the levels where they did were extra cool, in my opinion. But uh, in this one especially, I think it's just awesome. So that's it for the first two chapters already. We knocked those out pretty fast. Uh, in the next video, we're going to jump right in to chapter three. And man, oh, I I'm already so excited. Like I'm looking at the names of some of these levels. There's some familiar ones. There's some new ones. I'm really excited to see what happens. But that's going to be all from me for this video. 
Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. But uh, if you are a developer of this game or a longtime fan of this game, thank you for stopping by and watching. Uh, I, I'm blown away by this because it's, it's a game that I already loved a lot, and it's just so much more of that. Uh, it still feels like the same game, but also it doesn't. That's the best part. It just feels like a natural evolution of the previous uh, iteration, and I, I'm having a blast, a marble blast, you could say. But anyway, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time for some more Marble It Up Ultra. Goodbye, recruits.